Hello again. Hi, everybody. So good to have you back again this week. Um, and can you believe it's February? <laughs> February already. January just kind of flew by, didn't it? Well, second month in 2021. Um, I hope it's going well for you. I picked a verse today in Psalms, and um, you can turn there if you'd like to follow along. It's Psalms 92 verse four, and it says, for you have made me rejoice, Lord, by what you have done. I will shout for joy because of the works of your hands. So I think this is the first time I have put a photo in my process video into my Bible. It's definitely the first one going into this particular Bible, and I am excited to do way more of this. I think that this is a beautiful um, combination, having actual pictures or photos to go with the verses, photos that you have taken that are meaningful. Like, I don't know, what could, what could be better? So I am hoping to do more of this. And what you saw me do there in the beginning was fuss around with the placement of of bits and pieces of paper um, that kind of stuck with a color theme of of blues uh, and and whites and black as you can see and it just took me a while to get the placement of all the little layers and you, I will actually even change it up yet again in a few minutes um, but that's just just a layering technique that people often do in scrapbooking that I am adding to this layout or this page here the stickers I put on maybe a week or two even ago. I just put them on this page like this is a page I want to do in the future and I have these stickers. It's the perfect spot for it so I'm going to put them here. Um, and so it was already ready for me which was awesome to be able to start with that background already finished. So second you see here I have some dies that are Stampin' Up! dies, alphabet dies. And this is a great way to get um, like a big bang for your buck because I can make as many letters like hundreds, thousands of letters with these things, they're never gonna die out or run out, right? So you can just keep making them. So I'm, I'm glad to have th that little set there, but you do, it is an investment to get the set and the machine or the big shot, um, or the, I guess there's other types of machines that you can use thinless in or frameless in, but I have the, the Stampin' Up! version of both. So. That's what I use here, and you'll see me use them often in my Bible journaling. I like to mix my hand lettering with either stamped letters or sticker letters or these die cut letters to just kind of mix things up, and it adds texture and, and variance. So it's just a fun thing that I enjoy doing there. So see, I told you I was gonna fuss around with the paper again. <laughs> Anyways, before we get too far into this video, I do want to talk about this verse. So, um, of course, winter is not most people's favorite time of year. Well, it might be for you, but most people, I think, would say that winter is not their favorite time of year. But the one thing that I love about winter is the hoarfrost. And here in Sylvan Lake, oh man, it doesn't just disappear. Where we were in our last position, I felt like if you saw hoarfrost in the morning and you didn't take a picture, it was gone by noon because the sun would come out and melt it off. But here it stuck around for a couple days and it's just beautiful white crisp coating of snow or ice on all of the trees. And it's stunning. It's stunning. It feels so fresh, feels so clean, and it feels like a gift. And as I looked at the hoarfrost this week, I thought about how important it is for us to look for and to see the gifts that God has given us, the amazing works of his hand. Not only does it get, put us into a position of gratitude, but it helps us to recognize how great our God is. So those moments where we, I mean, my family would go feed the birds out of our hands and what a gift those birds are. Then God created them for no other reason than to be a blessing for us because we were his masterpiece. Everything out there was created for our enjoyment. And so let's recognize that in our daily walks. Start in the morning with the sun shining through your window and the, the glow and the warmth and the, the rise and shine vibes you're getting from it. 
thank God for that. That's his masterpiece. That's a work of his hand. The sun is a gift for each of us. And then when we go to breakfast, the fruits and the grains and the, and the milk or whatever it is that you're enjoying, God created those flavors. Like imagine how, how, what a creative God we have. What masterpiece that every food tastes different, that there are thousands of different flavors for us to enjoy. And he knew that we would all have different um, unique tastes and there's something for everyone. Like this is a masterpiece of our creator. So what if we, what if we spent today this way? What if we looked at the little things and recognized the masterpieces that they are, the works of his hands that are all around us and took a moment to thank him, we would have a heart of gratitude and we would have a heart in awe of our creator. What a different day it might be. So this is my challenge for each of us for today to look for those little masterpieces that God has put for each of us to enjoy and to live a life of gratitude to him. Before I say goodbye, I'll just catch up with what I am doing here at the end. I kind of felt I just wanted a little more color in all those white spots. So I'm just picking up some ink from my ink pad with a water brush there and tapping it to create a little bit of splatter uh, in some pool party or like a teal blue sort of color there. And it's hard to see on these, hopefully in the pictures you'll be able to see, but it just added that little bit of something, something I was looking for. And I think that's it. I call it done for the day. Oh no, look at this. I am adding the date. So I have this little date stamp. Thankfully, I have one that's not outdated. Most of them finished in 2020, but here's one that hasn't finished. And I'm just going to stamp it and stamp it off a few times as I like to do. And then call my page finished. I really hope you enjoyed. And I can't wait to see you again with another Creating with our Creator. Bye. Bye.